welcome to Maloka Designs latest video. I'm Megan, the founder and designer of Maloka Designs, but our amazing presenter and craft whiz will be taking over from here. So do enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. Hello, welcome to Maloka Designs YouTube channel. My name is Yas and today I'm going to show you how to turn your cross stitch into this magnificent pillow. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell so you're not gonna miss any of our future video tutorials. But for now, let's go and make a pillow. Full list of the suppliers is included in the description box. Begin of selecting your fabrics. Pay attention to the colors in your design. Ensure that your fabric complements your project by not overtaking it. Print out the template which is included as a PDF document in the description box. Place the template in the center of your 5 inch square. Ensure that the top and bottom sits flush with the edges. Then trim. Make 20. Arrange your fabrics according to your liking. Ensure that your dark and light fabrics are well balanced. Taking black and white photograph will help you determine if your fabrics are well balanced. Darken shades on the photograph will indicate all of your darkened fabrics. Move your pieces around if one area accumulates too many of the darkened fabrics to add more cohesive look. Place two pieces of fabric facing together and sew. Use straight stitch and quarter of an inch seam allowance. Join five pieces together and press. Repeat these steps three more times. Make four clusters of fabric. Ensure that all your seams are pressed to one side. Sew all four clusters together to create a ring. Place your completed ring on top of the batting. Give it a good press and pin. Add your machine top stitch each of the individual piece. You could also use decorative stitch instead. Gently press your cross stitch. Avoid pressing over the stitched area. We don't want to crush any of those beautiful crosses. Find circle that is big enough to center your piece. I am using 12 inch inner part of the hoop. Thank you. 
ensure that your project and the fusible interfacing are exactly the same size. Place fusible interfacing on top of your project with a glue side up and pin. So all the way around, don't forget to backstitch at the beginning and end. Snip the fabric close to the sewn line all the way around. Be careful not to snip your stitches. Separate both layers of fabric and cut an opening in the fusible interfacing. Ensure that your opening is big enough so you can flip your project inside out. Once your project is turned and all the seams pushed out, cover your project and give it a good press. To line your pillow, place your fat quarter right side facing down and your project right side facing up. Pin in few places to anchor both layers. Place your cross stitch centered on the ring. Use your ruler to help you measure the distance all the way around and pin. At your machine, using straight stitch and an eighth of an inch seam allowance, sew all the way around. Starting at the bottom of your project, pin your pom-pom trim all the way around. Ensure that your both ends are folded under. Using a matching thread and a straight stitch, sew all the way around. Don't forget to backstitch at the beginning and end. Change the stitch on your machine to zigzag and zigzag the edges all the way around. Press both fat quarters in half. Ensure that your pressed edges are meeting in the center. Overlap the top layer by 4 inches and repeat the same step on the other side. Place few pins along the folded edge. Ensure that the back of the pillow is facing the right way. Place your project on top and pin all the way around. Thank you. 
with straight stitch and a half of an inch seam allowance sew all the way around. Don't forget to backstitch at the beginning and end. Trim the excess fabric and voila, your pillow is ready. Turn it inside out and enjoy. watching we hope that you enjoyed the video and that you found it useful and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can be notified next time we release a new video